Good morning, everyone, and welcome to yet another episode of Fire Emblem, the Elagor Spear, a Fire Emblem 8 ROM hack by Zarg. My name is Pondon, and we're not going to start a new game. We're going to load a save. It's been a while since I've touched this, so I apologize for that. Life has just been kind of busy lately. I got the cursor out of the way because I know you love seeing that. So. We're going to get back into this chapter that we've died a couple of times at. So Zarg and I spoke a little bit about my feedback on this particular map, and he was great for it, which was nice, and he took it really well. Um, and I apologize because I realized that like, in the last video I came across as a little harsh, but we were understanding, and he gave me a couple of, uh, couple of reasons for why it is. I mean, it's tough, I would say. When you're creating a ROM hack, one of the most difficult things is figuring out, like, is this is this good for the player? Because it's like, when you're building something, you kind of know, like, if it's good for me. Ah, heck. Oh, I forgot that that's not what I wanted to do. I forgot that the RNs are, like, predetermined for some reason. Um, like, it can be difficult when you're first building a ROM hack to, like, get the chapter right. And that's why you have playtesting, and that's why, like, I like to help people and play their hacks. One, I have fun, but two, it's also, like, an opportunity for them. Because there's, I think there's a huge, there's still a stigma in the community against, like, playing things that aren't finished. And, like, I know, like, more prominent YouTubers don't like to play things that aren't finished because they're like, oh, ROM hack's never finished. And it's like, well, with that attitude... <laughs> You know, but like the biggest thing is like giving people feedback and motivation. I'm like, I am having a good time with this, and like I hope that Zarg and any of the other folks that I help work with like are more inspired to help finish things. Like I know I certainly am when I'm talking to people who play my game. And they're like, oh, this is fun. Like this is cool. And I'm like, okay, like I can do this. Like let's build something. Let's make this happen. So what I have to do in this chapter is I have to play very counterintuitively to how I normally would play. And that's going to be playing really slowly, unfortunately. So this might take us a while. The way the rain works, what I found out, is he called it reverse desert. So pretty much all of the... Uh, all of the units that are normally bad... Call it reverse desert. He, he, he equated it to like how desert tiles work. I have to look at the po at our chat because it was like a week ago where we talked about this. But essentially, like the mages, the, pretty much all the magic classes and the cavaliers have reduced movement in the rain. My advice to him was, if that's the case, it should be made really clear what. Um, like whether it's through dialogue like the vanilla games it's like they establish very quickly like the first time you walk into a desert map like hey magic users are good in the desert and horses and armor knights are not and like that's shown like an fe7 for example with hector and nils or hector and others like on the on the sand or whatever so something like that for the rain might be helpful especially if you're establishing a new mechanic that could be really helpful just to like help the player like not feel confused because I told him like dude I thought it was a glitch like I just thought you didn't set your terrain properly um, but hearing that like okay like that makes a little bit more sense so I can get on board with that nice crit Avani's gotta get some good level ups for me though yes strength she needs that all right let's see okay horseman What are you packing? You have like a sword slayer, don't you? That's right. That's right, I remember you. Sword Reaver Carvos. is my favorite unit, guys. Alright, now. It's Aggie. I think this. I think I just have to get you out of here. You can support, that's sneaky. I want to get you into healing range, though. So we're going to have to do this. So this is, like, the thing I don't like. It's, like, limited movement. It just makes it take longer than it needs to. Slow route maps. How 
much damage you're taking. So you're doing 17, and you have 10, and you do 18. So you're taking 15 damage. You'll live if this connects, which it will. Aggie. But you also may decide to go for someone else. What are you packing? Javelin. Yeah, if we put you here, take this javelin, and we get Bran over here, that might be able to help. Come on, Circa. You really can't ask for a better level up than that. Alright, let's see. So those guys on the top left, I've just decided, like, I just need to run away from them. Like, there's no avoiding avoiding them. Okay, here comes our anti-turtle. Alright. So this is where it gets very tricky here. Um, actually, it doesn't get as tricky as I thought, because I can just break this wall. It does take a while. I'm just curious if you guys will keep moving it for me. I haven't played in the last couple number. Okay, let's do this. Cam. Big chip damage. And then... Brand. Good level. Take magic in. Always will take magic. I'm a mage. Circa. Holding it down. Alright, now. Doggy. So I think. Yes. Steel bow, babes. Alright, now. Double check this here. So you're doing 13. You're 15 AS. Holy heck. You don't d double her. That's pretty nice. So 15. Oh, you're 13 attack minus my 10 defense. So you're doing 3 damage. And you're doing 18 minus than 8. So that's fine. So we just need to do this. Heal ourselves up. And then we can do this. And let's double check the damage here. So you're doing 18. And you're doing 13, and that's 18 minus 10, which is 8. And they're doing, okay, you're fine. So, just gotta slowly crawl our way through this map. I'm pretty much okay with just not getting the chest this time. I really, my goal is really to finish this chapter because I want to move on. I'm okay with not getting everything. I've accepted my fate. As juicy and nice as those rewards are, I'll just without them. I do kind of wish I could just leave the enemies in my wake, though, instead of having to, like, go back and kill them. I'm kind of bummed that I'm doing this. Break that wall. This is for some options here. Let's do this. Get some chip going. Because we're going to pass it off to our girl. The Circa. Snagging the kills. Alright. And we get the light brown. Set the light brown. Skylar. Skylar's a monster. Now, this longbow dude's gonna be really freaking annoying. I think my goal is gonna be to try and pin him with the flyer. Oh no, he has a short. Oh, that's so annoying. That's right, I can't do that. He's got 34 hit points. Like, he's just insane. I guess I could try and drop and then pin him. 
But even that's just like really risky because it's gonna be hard to get into his range, drop and get out of his range while also killing him the same turn. I'm just gonna need to like tank with Francis and then do like some heal strats. Kind of like you do with like a boss on the throne. That's gonna be my take on this whole thing. Silver Lance for the wall. Pro strats here. Alright, so. Okay, we're gonna need to take these side paths to get anywhere. Let's see. Okay, so. How much damage do you do with the longbow? 10. 25 minus. Dang. Dag, yo. Alright, so. Yeah, this guy's just a little too buff for someone I have to deal with. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I can always admire the difficulty, though. Oh, shit. I forgot about him. My god. Um, I don't think we can even rewind out of that one. Man! Man. This chapter is going to end me, Zark. Uh, this chapter is going to end me. I really want to beat this the right way, but it's also just incredibly annoying. Uh, maybe I'm just... I didn't have my coffee yet. Let's try this one more time. Oh no, I did the wrong. This is not happening, guys. Alright. We're... I'm gonna try one more time. Because you know what? I don't give up, guys. I believe in myself. And you should, too. Believe in yourselves. Maybe there's like some more optimal positioning I could do up front, but I really just want to finish this. sad about we lost to the really good circle level up which makes me sad okay yep all right so now you're gonna peel man this is tough this is real tough all right I gotta go into thinking mode Ah, you didn't get strength. Punished forever. Alright. Having limited movement on my healer is so annoying. Alright, All right, now, let's see. Do you have Reaver? I'm gonna put you here. Not a good le oh my god, the level ups are, this is, I'm being punished real hard. Let's see. Cam. I really want to do this, but I don't need to. Um, okay. Oh my god. Uh, I didn't want 
do that. I wanted to switch bows. Man, I'm having a really rough time, guys. This is not the content you like to subscribe. You should unsubscribe from me. This is about to go very poorly. Um, I think we could salvage this, though. Comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel so I get all the address. Watch me suck at fire. Just kidding, guys. Don't do that. I don't make any ad money. Uh oh. Oh, Francis is dead. I left him wide open again. I'm tempted to continue on without him at this point because man I believe in myself it's gonna be the, this is gonna be the last attempt this is gonna be the run guys I'm gonna dial it up. You're gonna see a whole new whole new pound on here. Using the right weapon, the matchup. One rounding eyeballs with iron lances. Look at that. Now that's the content you like and subscribe. Now here we go. There we go, Vani. Now Bran Blee's kill. Thank you. Now, Peeler, Nigel, alright. Circuit, get over here. Okay. Okay. Wish you had more strength in one round, but it's okay. Nice crit. Yay, level. Strength. Alright, this is the run. This is the run. This is the run, lads. Alright, now, Mr. I almost called him Scott. Warpath. Get over here. Alright, now. See what happens here. Feed. Okay. I'm sorry I'm speeding this up. Normally I don't like to do that, but if you've been here since the first video, you'll understand why. I'm just like, I really want to get through this because I do want to continue on with the rest of the project. Can I do this though? That's right. I remember. I remember what I'm supposed to do here. Alright, so now. I should pull the longbow archer in a spot where I can maybe get him. Oh, Franny. That's what you get though for dying so much. Holy heck. Runs in. Doggo time.
Aggie, get over here. Ooh, Aggie can one round him. Alright. Why? Oh, you're on a forest. Ah, oh, my dude. Alright, I'm not even gonna deal with him right now. Can't even deal right now. Alright. There we go. Fran is mad. She's mad about the bad level up. Alright. Now. Look at Avani. Doing work. Now, Elizabeth. Can you snag this? You can. That's gonna be a snag. Good stats. Alright. And the light friend. Alright. So. I kind of wish I had like a sword I'd feel better about using to break the wall, but I'm not really in a position to be picky. I also should probably heal you, but it'll be fine, guys. You're fine. Now let's just try and pull this guy in, and then we can try and bop him. Longbow guy will be the death of me, as he has been multiple times, to be fair. Okay. Aggie with the Avalon. Alright, Circa. Oh, why does he do these things to me? I keep forgetting about this guy. Oh, hello. Oh my god. Why is that one promoted with a bow? <laughs> I forgot, because I don't ever see monsters anymore. I have no excuses, guys. I have no excuses. Alright. <sighs> this chapter's hard. This is a hard chapter. Man, I really just want to fight my homeboys Dargu and Zargu. I want to see what they have to say to me when I roll up. Actually, I don't even know how I'm going to deal with these guys. Look at them. This guy's got 36 attack. Berserka. Berserka, like, still she barely escapes being one-rounded. That's going to be super interesting to see how this happens. I feel like the strat's gonna have to be to split them up, but I don't even know how I'll do that adequately, because one of them has range. Dargu and Zargu, man. Alright. Well. This is probably gonna be the last recording I do for a while, unfortunately, and that was one of the reasons why I wanted to end on a good note. But I do have to get ready for work. It's taking a little bit longer for me to do this than I was hoping. But, um... To everyone, have a happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy the holidays. I am traveling most of December. I'm going, I'm traveling for work, going to a bachelor party. I'm going to be home for like a little less than a week. And then I go home for the holidays. So like, I would not be surprised if I have zero time to record during the month of December. So don't be surprised if you don't see or hear from me very much, if at all. Maybe like a, a stream here or there, but... I'm going to be taking a little bit of a break throughout the rest of the year, most likely. And then we'll be kicking it back off in January. So keep an eye out for some more stuff. We have some fun stuff planned. Most fun being getting through this. Because um, I really like this hack, man. I really like where Zarg is going with it. I like the general like difficulty in terms of like how hard enemies hit and things like that. But this chapter is just like, it just doesn't speak to me. And I mean, I'm not going to go on about it. Um, it's very punishing. I'll say that much. It's very punishing. So, we'll have to... I said to, like, put on the big brain for this one. We're getting close, though. We're getting close. Man, this guy... Battle axe and a steel bow? This guy's brutal. Alright, well... Until next time, guys. Be safe. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. And if you love someone, tell them. Until next time... I'll see you guys. Be good.